This is going to be a little bit different. Um, in this video, I'm going to be looking at um, something I haven't done before. I'm going to be looking at an Android application. Um, I don't have a screen capture software for video for Android, so this is actually going to be looking at a couple of different screenshots. Um, and this is going to be a game called uh, Choice of Broadsides. Um, it's a text based game, so it is not you know graphics intensive it's exactly as it sounds it's a text based game um, it's a game that takes place in the age of uh, sail uh, during the kind of the Napoleonic Wars it's a fictional setting between two countries that are based on England and France during the Napoleonic Wars it's really based after kind of the Hornblower or the uh, Patrick O'Brien Aubrey Martin kind of line for uh, a story. Um, you start off as a uh, midshipman and work your way up through the rank of captain, um, or you know, if you get there. Um, but anyway, let's take a quick look. This is the uh, game. Like I said, it's Choice of Broadside. Starts off with um, a little summary. You're in the middle of a battle on a frigate. You're a midshipman, as I said, um, and as you go through the game you do have to pick kind of different strengths and weaknesses of yourself um, in this format the menu will look much like this throughout the game you'll get kind of a story a, a scenario and then you'll have multiple options to choose from and those options do influence where you go where your career goes um, you obviously this is similarly you pick your name this way there's some um, standard names uh, as well as uh, you can put your own in there as well um, you also have to pick um, things in addition to picking your strengths and weaknesses you also pick when you started serving um, in the in the Navy so that is going to influence different things if you've been on a ship since you're really really young you're going to be very good at shipboard things but you're also going to be really poor at social skills which is important um, later on um, you are uh, given different choices in different scenarios so like in a, in a case like this there's actually a scenario where you're on a uh, on a ship and you're a, a member of a prize crew early on you've been detailed by your captain to take over a uh, Gaulish ship um, and you have to deal with the crew or the officer um, on the ship that you've taken and your uh, your actions can determine whether you're going to have a mutiny or whether you're going to, you know, make it to port safely. Um, you also get these similar types of choices where you have to choose to fight a battle um, and on what terms you're going to fight it and what kind of strategy you're going to fight it. Um, the game is really a, a pretty rich and interesting game. I mean, it's very, it's very well done. Um, in addition to that, you also deal with some social things so you actually deal with courting um, meeting choosing between different women that you'd like to meet trying to woo them trying to gain their affection and um, trying to gain their parents affection as well um, so that's another thing that adds a little bit of a atmosphere to this game um, there's also you can view your stats um, after you set up your character your stats um, your sailing gunnery wealth all these things will be influenced by your decisions um, moving on um, and once you eventually become captain you work your way up from midshipman to lieutenant from lieutenant to commander or captain and once you're a captain or a commander you have to deal with discipline on board ship you'll be faced with numerous different uh, challenges and you could even incite a mutiny on your own ship um, but you do have to deal with discipline what do you determine is fair for a certain offense um, and that'll influence you know your crew's discipline your crew's happiness and and all of those things influence um, how your men will perform and whether they'll turn on you or whether they'll be loyal um, and also, I don't want to give too much of the game away because it is a free game. You can download it for free, but um, it also there's a paid version, but that just gets rid of the apps so or rid of the ads. So honestly, there's no reason not to go with a free version. But um, one other thing is that you if you need to follow your orders if you don't follow your orders you could be court-martialed um, there's anything from success and promotion to admiral by the end of your career or court-martial um, this game really has a lot of atmosphere it's a it's a phenomenal 
phenomenal little game for your phone. The only complaint that I'd really have is that it's a pretty short game. Um, you could play through it all in maybe 10, 15 minutes, um, which I suppose for a text text game might you know be the perfect length. But for someone like me who really um, have I have no problem spending you know hours and hours getting involved into a game like this. The atmosphere, um, the environment, the setting, it is all perfect. This game is perfect in, in, in every regard. It's got everything that you would think of for a game of this age, and for anyone who's interested in the age of sale, I highly recommend you download it. Um, but the one thing that it is lacking is length. Um, it is a very short game, um, and you know, it, it might get stale, I suppose, if you you had too much or too much length. It might just get repetitive, but it really could do with a little bit more length. Um, other than that, definitely a great game, and I uh, highly recommend that anyone who's interested in this era, check it out.